guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing three easy dinner recipe ideas. I am super excited to share these with you guys. These are some of my family's favorite go-to recipes all year long. I am super excited to share these with you and I hope that you guys have some meal inspiration for your families. If you are new here, my name is Piper. I film a variety of videos, but I am a type one diabetic, first time mama and wife, and I'm super excited to share my YouTube journey with you guys. If you would like to subscribe down below, I would love to have you as a subscriber and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the recipes and look forward to trying them. In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Hi guys, so I told you on my Instagram that I was going to be filming three different dinner ideas. These are super quick, easy staples in our house. We absolutely love these recipes. So I'm gonna show you guys my recipe for chicken crock pot tacos. This is literally a dump and go meal. So I'm gonna show you my ingredients real quick. So I just have a jar of salsa. You can use any salsa that your family likes. This is a mild salsa. It's double roasted salsa from Trader Joe's. And then I have a can of corn. I don't always add this, but when I have it on hand, I will add this to the mixture. And then I have my chili lime seasoning. You could use a little bit of taco seasoning as well if you prefer. And then some salt. And then my um, chicken I'm using is boneless, skinless thighs. You could use breasts if you prefer. They take a little bit longer in the crock pot, but um, whatever you wanna use works just fine. And I'm just using a pound and a half of chicken. And this is actually frozen. So I'm going to place it in my crock pot frozen, and then I'll show you guys how much of everything I'm going to add in there. Okay, so I have you guys sitting up on top of a paper paper towel, um, what is it called, roll, and what, <laughs> is that funny? Why it's laughing at me in the background. So I'm just gonna cut this open and put this in frozen. And if you have a larger family, you could always add uh, as much chicken as you would prefer and then just add another jar of salsa in there. It will be just as good. And I am just going to generously sprinkle this chili lime seasoning on top. And then I'm going to add some salt. And my husband, Wyatt, prefers things less spicy, so I typically err on the side of caution and avoid extra spice in our dinners. Um, and then I'm just going to add this whole jar of salsa. So I'd say per every pound, you probably want a whole jar of salsa. So I'm just gonna add that on top. I'm just gonna drain this corn and then I'm gonna add it on top of the chicken and salsa. Okay, and then I also decided to add a can of mild green chilies. Um, again, you don't have to have these, but these are also a nice little addition. Okay, so here's the final product. This is what it looks like. Everything is topped on it. For the chickens, like I said, one can of corn, one jar of salsa, and one can of green chilies. A little bit of chili powder, or um, you could also do taco seasoning or the chili lime seasoning blend that I use, and then I always do a little bit of salt on top of my chicken. So I'm gonna cook mine on low for five hours. And there we have it. You let it cook and then I will show you guys later what we top our tacos with. That way you guys can have a little bit of an idea and inspiration for what you want to top your tacos with. Um, but in the meantime, that is it for dinner and I'm gonna go run errands and let this cook. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what the chicken looks like fully cooked. Um, so what I'm going to do now is shred the chicken and I usually just take some tongs and I will just gently start shredding it in here and then we will just heat up our tortillas. We like either the Mission flour tortillas or hard taco shells. These are what we're going to be using tonight and then you can top it with whatever your family likes to top your tacos with. That's pretty much it. I'll show you guys our plates. All right, you guys, here's the finished product. We stuffed our tacos with cheese, sour cream, lettuce, some uh, fresh tomatoes, and that's pretty much it. Super simple. Hi, guys. So meal number two, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make a crock pot turkey chili. It is so good, I've made this recipe before. I will have it linked down in the description, but I'm also gonna show you guys how I make it. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna start by sauteing some ground turkey. This is a pound of ground turkey, and I'm going to saute it on my stove top. Okay, so I just added about a teaspoon of the minced garlic, and then I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of garlic powder to my turkey. And then I'm going to add some of the chili lime seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. You could also use some chili powder. 
and I usually do just about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then I'm also going to salt my ground turkey and pepper it lightly. And I'm just going to chop up my onion and I'm gonna add about half of the onion, this is a large onion, um, to my mixture. I've added the onion, I've started to brown the turkey, and then I also added the minced garlic to it and the seasonings that I showed you guys. And then I'm gonna add it to the crock pot and then I'll show you guys the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so I am going to add chili powder. Like I said, I will have all of the um, recipe specifics as far as measurements go in the description below, but I'm gonna add some chili powder. I'm going to add two cans of the diced tomatoes. And then I'm going to add a can of corn. I don't think the recipe calls for this, but I'm going to add it anyway. And then I'm going to add a can of the white kidney beans, a can of black beans, and then a can of green chilies, and a little bit of brown sugar, and then some salt and pepper. I'm just going to add half of the amount of the chili um, powder. So I'm using one tablespoon instead of two. And then I'm just using mild green chilies. You could obviously add spicier ones if you'd rather. And I'm planning on freezing half of this so we can have some in the freezer for an easy, um, quick dinner that we can just reheat. I'd love to know what you guys enjoy making in your crock pot. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have a crock pot and you have a favorite dinner meal. I'm always looking for new ideas and suggestions. I would love to try out your recipes. Alright you guys, I know it doesn't look super appetizing, but trust me, this is going to be delicious. So I have all of the beans, the tomatoes, all of the ingredients on top here. I'm going to cook this on low for about three to four hours. The meat is fully cooked, so the only thing I need to do is have this heat up and simmer, and there we have it. That's dinner. So to go with our chili, I always like to have cornbread mixture on hand. I sometimes will make it homemade, but this is my husband's favorite and our family favorite. So this is the Krusty's Honey Cornbread and Muffin Mix. It's made with real honey, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And this is so good, you guys. This is so tasty, we love it. It's super affordable and it's easy to just throw in a pan and put in the oven and have with your dinner. So that's what we're gonna have paired with our chili. All right, you guys, dinner is served. We have our turkey chili here with some cornbread and butter and a little bit of honey. 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 Yeah. Hi, guys. So I'm going to show you our last meal for these three meals that I've been sharing with you guys. Hi, Opal. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm making for dinner. So right now I have a pork tenderloin in the oven. I always buy our pork tenderloins from Costco. They come in a pack of four. And, and then I'm cutting up a little bit of watermelon here in our fridge. And then I'm going to heat a can of the cut green beans and salt and pepper those. This is the Annie's mac and cheese. This is the Parmesan butter flavor. This is for opal. Can you say hi? Hi. This is dinner tonight. Oh, you showing them? Uh-huh. That's your mac and cheese. This is dinner. So we have our pork tenderloin, some mac and cheese, some green beans, and some corn on the cob. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the, these three easy dinner ideas and that it inspired you in some way to make dinner for your family. I would love it if you'd subscribe down below if you have not already and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to follow my family on Instagram, check out the links down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.